Okay, so now we need to make alarms and set up those alarms and the screens. So as you can see, I already went through and I added all of these alarm triggers. And how we did that was we go add and we can go in to our PLC. Maybe. And we're going to go to the alarm output. So all these are added in. And then it's pretty tedious, but at least you can copy and paste this. So if you add all these, and then you can just go through, copy, paste. Pace. So now we'll move on to a section that we can actually uh, use Excel for. That is the messages section. So you can see our triggers. It's going to be a list of all the all the triggers that we did in the other screen section. So we'll start here. Trigger value one. When this alarm zero dot alarm output equals one they'll trigger this message and the messages we are going to get from our SCADA map so for alarm 0 we can paste that there so obviously this would take forever so what we're going to do instead is to copy all of these alarms and then we're going to paste them all here so we have all our messages for each alarm now we have to go through and click display for each one again tedious but there's no way to get around it for the trigger values we can just just go back and forth press one down arrow one down arrow over and over and over and over and over again. Okay. Now the trigger value, we can also um, take a little shortcut. But in order to do that, we're going to have to type just a little bit of that out. Because you can copy and paste here, but it's, it's uh, not quite standard. So... We will go, let's see, I typed it all out already. Start from scratch. And you see here we have brackets, ICP brackets, alarms, zero, dot, Output, close bracket, and now in order to increment this number, we can cut that out, paste it over here, now we should be able to increment, forget how many there were. Let's do 70. So now we can do we equals this ampersands that cell. Now you can see we have the exact same trigger. So we will copy this all the way down, and now we'll copy this all the way down, and that's all of them. So we'll have to copy and paste just the value, okay, so I'll copy again, 
come over here and we will paste. So as you can see, we paste it all the way down. Boom. It's not the single easiest way to make a AD alarms, but it's the only way to do it. So I'm just going to finish off filling these in. Fill in the display check boxes for all the alarms you want to display. And then you're done. So this will save a little bit of time. Um, but we're having to manually click, boom, click, boom, you know, and then copy here, or copy from Excel, paste over here, copy, paste. And also you have to make sure they line up and all that. So a lot easier just to do the whole column and paste it all in.